<laughs> Yo, the snake though. That's thick. Is he using another variation? I wonder. Yeah. No, the, no, the, we don't know. That's just the intro. Okay. I'm wondering though, because he might have to play that game. Then what am I, Shang Tsung? My next victim. <laughs> Beware of my purple nail polish. <laughs> All right. No, he's sticking with Ascension. I think he knows that he loses like the zoning war, but if he gets in, I think he's just bank banking on being able to run his game once he gets in. Right, like right there. Get one good jump in. And now he's in the corner. Neutral. Uh oh. What's that? What game is it? I don't know. I'm going to go uh, check that out. Uh, <laughs> All right. Hold, hold I got the board down. All right, we got a corpse drop. Shang Tsung is trying to zone, but um, he has a pretty good life lead. The thing is, if he gets counter hit, and it's, <laughs> that's probably it right there, but if he got a counter hit or he got caught trying to throw a projectile and Kodo through his pizza uh, uh, saucer, then it would have crushed blow, then it would have been a bad trade. Yeah, they called me twos. So... I guess I shall. I'll have to. I had to go myself. Uh, see if we could get somebody else to come and take this match because we're. All right, dude is about to come on, so I'll leave you to this. Everybody, peace. I got you. Don't worry. Good luck. Station 30, so that's uh, probably the same thing. Uh, no, Tekken and Street Fighter. I do, I, I want to, I haven't played, I only have PC. My only regret is that I can't do commentary with Champion 410, but he's got to go play. We got Citizen Snips a multiple times, Xanadu Champion for the weeklies here in Mortal Kombat. Uh, he was repping Liu Kang, but now he's got the old man, my favorite character in this game, Shang Tsung. Versus Furious Pillow, the man who put Kotal Khan on the map. I know he's been getting a lot of buzz, a lot of roars. Already Furious Pillow! Oh! With the corner pressure, Citizen Snips trying to find a way out, choosing defense. Stalwart, looking beautiful. Furious Pillow really pouring it on, not getting a whole lot out of it. Citizen Snips resetting things back to neutral. Good stuff. A little bit of that MK zoning game. Trading projectiles. He's throwing fat guys at him. What are you supposed to do? Okay, here we go. Citizen Snips forcing his way in. Okay. Oh, Citizen Snips with the interruption. Furious Pillow trying to fight back. Good throw break. Excellent. Crushing those highs. Snips going for zoning a little bit. Furious Pillow looks like he's having a hard time trying to get it because he's trying to wait through all these fat guys. Keep getting in the way. Oh, jeez, he took that one. Good stuff. Snips takes the game with the projectiles. I remember the first time, I think it was one of the first MK monthlies we had, Citizen Snips won with Liu Kang, and he seriously won with one move. You guys know what it is. I don't need to tell. If you guys are MK players, you know what he won with. And, um, you know, I could see his opponent frustrated. I don't remember exactly who it was, but just like, man, this guy's really beating me with one move. Well, you can't blame him now. You can't blame that move. You can't blame 404 now. This character is too cool. What I want to see, I feel like a lot of people are repping Shang Tsung already. What I want to see is more players learning to play the cast so they can use that soul steal. That's the whole point. This is the ultimate disrespect character. This is 12 SA3. <gasps> Good stuff. Excellent start by Furious Pillow. Pushing Sims to the corner, but look at that already. Losing that life lead. Jeez, who's going to clean up this mess? All right, Pillow, again, trying to find his way in. Nice, healing himself with the sunlight. That's a great anti-zoning strategy. Snips is onto him, though. I got to say, the zoning in this game is really good. I think it's one thing that they did really well in this game is that everyone feels pretty strong at a distance. You get a real mental game. Excellent. Furious Pillow forcing his way in a little bit, losing patience. He knows he's got to make something happen. Otherwise, he's going to get chipped out. Round 
two. Fight. Excellent. Look at that. Nice chunk of damage for Snips. Look at the duck under the shield. This stuff can't go unnoticed, right? Can't understate this stuff. Oh, look at that. Furious Pillow forcing his way in a little bit. Snips looked like he wanted to whiff punish the first two hits, but correctly probably choosing defense. Again, going under the shield. <gasps> okay, Furious Pillow gets his chance here. How's he going to make this work? Oh, no, the crushing blow. I think Furious Pillow was trying to whiff punish, and Snips committed to the full string. Gets him with the Fattler. Zoner versus Zoner is boring. Mm. Couldn't agree less. Listen, Zoner versus Zor Zoner is interesting because, like, you don't get to see action. You know, you don't get to see, like, up in your face, slugging, throwing limbs. But that's where the real cerebral game is in these games. This is where you get to actually make sense of what's going on with your eyes without knowing all the numbers, right? All the numbers that are hidden behind the animations that don't always appear as they seem, right? Or don't always, uh, they don't always correlate with how they appear. Instead, with zoning, you know exactly what's going on. And you get to see these players, like, navigate through, a, a, I think, a really rigorous mental game. <laughs> yeah, Zoner versus Zoner is the WYSIWYG game. Everyone gets to make sense of this. The players, the spectators. That's the best part of the game. If there was no zoning, like, it would just be everyone running at each other all the time, right? Okay, good stuff. Sniffs with an important read in the beginning. Furious Pillow, you can see the tension. He just wants to find his way in. He wants to make this work good. Crushing blow. Almost tying things up here. Ah, oh, man. Furious Pillow just having such a difficult time getting in. Making his way through his own sunlight. Good stuff. Again, trade there. Might be slightly in Pillow's favor, but he doesn't have enough life to make that worth it. Man, those fireballs. This is proving to be really puzzling for Furious Pillow. This dude, Pillow is a really strong fighting game player. Really good at multiple games. He's good at representing characters that I think are a little bit slept on or considered weaker. I know he has won or at least been in Grand Finals multiple times with Astaroth and Soul Calibur. <gasps> Excellent. Nice little command grab. Oh, makes his way over. That is so important because he now he's putting Snips back in the corner. He lost that positioning with the grab. <gasps> Uh-oh. That's the Snips strat. That's his forward four. <laughs> Okay, harassing a little bit. Snips now getting the position change, and this is going to be tough for Furious Pill. He's got to find his way out of this corner if he hopes to live. <gasps> okay. Big boot. Putting him in the corner. Excellent. So, so important. Oh! The throw. Pillow has got the lead here, and he does not want to find himself on the other side of the stage again. Okay. He wants to set on the life lead. 30 seconds left. Good stuff. The sunlight. Final round. Fight. Oh, what a beautiful whiff punish. She looked like he was looking for exactly that. Oh, man, the big damage. <gasps> Excellent. All right, Snips has really, really good placement here. And he's just pouring it on. Pillow has got to learn to flawless block that string. Okay, it looks like this one's going to go to Snips. Again. Wow, the quick 3-0. Furious Pillow having a tough time finding his positioning.